Today we're gonna to look at shooting a bearing with a compass. Now I can say this, that navigation can get super technical, but for what we do as woodsmen, it doesn't need to be super technical. We need to keep it very, very simple. And that's what we're going to do. Now a bearing is allowing us to walk from point A to point B in a straight line. It's very difficult for a woodsman with terrain, with uneven ground, with angles and slopes to walk a straight line. So if we get a bearing, we can walk a straight line, specifically more over distance. So if we're going up hills and down hills, it allows us to stay on that one bearing and walk in a straight line. So it might be the type of thing cars here, we need to go in our hunting spot and back out, we're gonna walk that straight line. So we're gonna look today at how to shoot that bearing and then we'll follow that up with a video on how to team it up with a map. And then you really have something going and it's actually really fun to do. Parts of the compass are very simple. We have our mirror, we have our aim. See where my finger's coming up there? There's a small little V-notch and that's our aiming notch. We then have a bezel that moves. Top of that bezel is north, right here. And then it goes all the way around 360 degrees. Next, you can look and see that the orange arrow is north. So make sure you know which arrow on your compass is north. If you look here, you can see there is an arrow in the glass, a red arrow, and it goes back to a black tail of the arrow. And the red section here between that is the doghouse is what we like to call it. So if I say that we need to put the needle in the doghouse, that means we put that north needle centered into the doghouse. And if you understand that, you basically know how to shoot a bearing. Now, a couple things. When you're gonna aim for your bearing, we wanna make sure that the compass is nice and level. We don't want it down, we don't want it up, we don't want it tilted, nice and level. We're then gonna bring it up close to our cheek on our dominant eye. We're gonna aim through that aiming sight and we're gonna adjust the mirror down low at that point so we can see the bezel. We wanna be able to look through that aiming sight, look at the bezel and see where we're at. That's the technique, that's it, nothing else to it. Now, how do we actually identify the line we need to walk? If we have a designated bearing and I know that I need to travel 152 degrees, what we would begin to do is dial our bezel to 152. This top notch is lined up with 152. At that point, I'm going to then rotate myself that the needle, the north needle is in that doghouse and I'm gonna bring that up. I'm gonna make sure it's still in doghouse and whatever object that was in within them, that V, travel towards it and continue that process and that's gonna give us a straight line over distance. But most of us aren't gonna know if we just have a compass what bearing we need to head. So we need to determine that in order to walk that straight line. We're gonna use that orange hat that's out there in the distance. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the orange hat into that aiming sight. At this point now, I'm gonna take my red needle or orange needle and I'm gonna place it into the doghouse. Okay, so we're gonna take this needle place it in here. So we're gonna aim it at our hat, make some more fine adjustments, make sure it's at our hat. And now you can see we're lined up, everything, needles in the doghouse, and we're in between our V-notch. Now it's unsteady because I'm behind the camera, but what that is going to give us at that point is we're gonna read our top dial. So we are exactly 330 degrees. That's our bearing. So we can travel that bearing very easily. We just aim, again, if I was at that location, walk to that tree, there wouldn't be a hat there, but walk to that tree, stand at that tree, aim again, like I showed you, at 330 degrees, pick something out in the distance and walk to that. A very simple concept allows you to walk a straight line. So I hope I didn't over confuse anybody with that. It should just be simple, it shouldn't be too hard, it shouldn't be too complex, and you should be able to get the job done. Next video, we're gonna talk about using this with a map. It's gonna to come together and you're gonna to love it. This was Dan Walker, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Stay in the woods.